Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number three from the Math Fundamentals unit. Question number three asks us to solve log base 10 of 100 and rearrange the completed equation into exponent notation. And I find this problem easiest to solve when we solve it simultaneously because logarithms and exponents are essentially rearranged versions of one another to begin with. They are inverses of one another in a way. So if you have log base b of x and that equals y, then b raised to the y power equals x. So if we start from our logarithm and we raise the base to the power of y, we should get x as our answer. And so a good way to solve logarithms is just to rearrange it into an exponent equation to begin with. Because the y in the logarithm equation is the same thing as the y in the exponent equation, and I think exponents are a little bit more friendly to us. So let's look at what we had in our question. We had log base 10 of 100 equals some unknown, and that unknown in this case is y, can be represented by y. And just looking at the rule written above here, we know that b is equivalent to 10, so we can write 10 as our base in exponent form. 100 is equal to the x, and so we can put that on the other side of the equal sign over here. And y is our unknown. So these two equations are representing the same thing. One side note is log base 10 is actually the most standard form of the logarithm. So if you see something that looks like this, this is the exact same thing. There is like an invis invisible 10 here. Log base 10 is the most common form of the logarithm. So unless another number is specified, you can assume that it is a an unspoken 10 there. Okay, back to the question at hand. So since we know that the y in both equations are the same, then we can look at this equation to find the y. 10 raised to what power gives us 100? Well, we know that 10 times 10 equals 100, so 10 times itself two times gives us 100. So we know that 10 raised to the power of two gives us 100. And this tells us that y equals two. So we can go back to our logarithm equation here and plug in a two for the y. And that's our answer. And we've already rearranged it into its equivalent exponent notation right above it here. 10 raised to the power of 2 equals 100. So that's the answer to Math Fundamentals question number 3.